funeral. Oh, I got a call from again. That night, Linda got a phone call. Probably in their bedroom. There's Dan. Spend three paragraphs describing the weather again. It's a heck of a sand castle I made with the little guy. Get back to. Let's explore his memories. Oh, look at the beautiful full moon. Looking at the Just window. got back from town with the latest issue. Flipped to the back and there it was. My book in the up next column. Stared at it for five minutes. Feeling in my stomach was not pleasant. But now it's out there. It's terrifying and irreversible. Maybe I should have placed a full ad. But even like this, the book is out there. Thousands of people are going to read that list. To them, the book is exactly what they want it to be. Some finished beautiful thing. If only they could see it right now. A bunch of jigsaw pieces on the floor. And I've got to put them all together. Fast. It doesn't seem like he's very confident in this book. Maybe be, he, maybe he's like a, a beginning writer or something. Or maybe he already has a couple of book outs. But obviously he's not a very big time writer. Very popular or something. I think. And this, the thing also always with, with writers is that they have like this time deadline. They have this limited frame uh, frame time where they have to finish the thing so yeah that's very difficult to work with I feel um, this is Tommy's room let's see I saw someone sitting on the floor oh there they are oh wow just be here for me. Lynn, I'm so sorry. Tell me what I can do. What happened? Just with be her? here for me. Oh my god. It's gotta be something big and upsetting. If she's sitting on the floor, it looked like she was crying. She looked very upset. Most of you here knew my grandmother. For those who didn't, I truly wish you had. She was an example for all of us. Her warmth, her caring, and her smile were impossible to forget. It's still hard for me to believe she's gone. Without her, the world is... <laughs> Grandmothers. Oh god, oh god. So Linda's grandmother passed away. Hey daddy. Hey. Let's look into Tommy's thoughts. Daddy says the candy store is our secret. Oh no. Let's try and read his thoughts. Or his memories, rather. We've seen this drawing a couple of times already now. This is probably when he drew it. We've some seen that drawing as well. Downstairs. Oh! The painting, it's more... Completed. Is she in heaven? How oh, about the grandmother? I'm sure she I'm sure is, she honey. Is. Yeah. 
A spaceship. Oh no. Joe's funeral's the same day as the signing in Eugene. And Paul says they can't move it. He'll understand if I bail because he knows Linda, but Grofield is a different story. They won't give a damn why I missed it. They'll just get a memo and put it in a spreadsheet somewhere and write me off just a little bit more. And it's not just the timing. If I do the reading, I've got to get that chapter in shape. It's not even remotely ready for anyone to see it. Can't worry about what Paul says. He's my agent. He's supposed to stroke me. And what about Tommy? Oh my god, I heard someone. Oh, he's walking downstairs. Um. Okay. thoughts I think it's time to go downstairs Ooh, the kite it's over there now let's check the bathroom Ooh, nothing why was he in there oh there there's a clue I walked out to the bluff to remember Grandma Jo and say goodbye. And on the way back, I started thinking about what it really means to have a family, to make that your focus. She seemed to take such joy in being surrounded by her family, providing for them, taking care of them. I hope I never took that for granted. When I got back to the house, a question hit me that I can't get out of my head. What will Tommy think about Dan and me when he gets older? And what if Tommy has kids of his own? I can't even begin to think of myself as a grandmother. I haven't even been a mother for that long and I'm still feeling my way through what it means to be a good one. At least I'll always have an example. I miss you, Grandma Jo. And I'll never forget you. I promise. This is so sad to see what death really does to a person. More than anything, rather than besides the fact that you're just obviously missing that person, you're in grief, but also you start to question a lot of things in life, which is essentially what she's doing in this letter. She starts to question about already thinking way ahead in the future because her grandmother dies. She wants to think, like, oh, what would I be like if I were a grandmother? and then of course she reverts back to what she is now a mother is she even a good one she's she's trying to be a good one and then she's trying to remember what her grandmother is like and because kind of in the way of i guess honoring her she tries to be more like her because she was very good with the family prioritized the family a lot so that's what she's trying to do i guess as well I believe we still needed to look at someone's... There she is. The whole <laughs> family is here though. God, there are two clues there. Reservations for Friday. Hope we can find a babysitter. This, this looks so... S I don't know. This, this picture right here where the... The boy is playing, he was just staring out the window, she's sitting there reading a book. It, it kind of looks like a family that's not really in trouble, but just not really in on the same, same level or something. I don't know how to explain it. She's walking away. I'll just read this. Mark the 21st of this month on your calendars. For one day only, watch the world famous Fighter 5 as they scream across the sky. 
Witness death-defying feats of flying in a display unlike anything you've ever seen. Guaranteed to blow you away. Don't miss it. Anne, I just got off the phone with Mom. She told me about Grandma Jo. I know we expected it sooner rather than later, but this is hitting me so much harder than when Granddad died last year. Do you remember going to Grandma Jo's house after school on Wednesdays and playing until Mom got off work? How Grandma Jo always had a surprise for us? Even if it was just cookies in the oven, she'd always time it so the whole house would smell like them when we got there. I hope the minister captures those little moments because they don't seem as little now. I wish the circumstances were different, but it will still be good to see you at the funeral. What am I saying? You probably won't even get this until after the funeral. I guess I just needed to write anyway. Love, Linda. And his or sister, I believe. TV as well, or is there something here? Here. Dan got big news. Got a call. Oh, big news. <laughs> got a call from Bracket Books and Eugene, and they want you to do a reading from Wind Song. Maybe even some Q and A, some book signings, all that good stuff. I think you should do it. In fact, I'm going to be pretty pissed if you don't. Bracket is a big outlet, so if this goes well. Orders for the new books will definitely go up. I don't need to remind you how long it's been since Streamer's Way came out. If you don't keep your name out there, no one will even notice when you finish the new book, whatever it's called. Hell, speaking of the new one, why don't you read some of it too? Maybe the second chapter you sent me last month. That one was pretty good. Bracket Books, Eugene, the 21st. See you there, Paul. P.S. You know the long game, right? Nailing this one could mean a bigger advantage on the next book. It seems like this one is so important. Where is she? There she is. She knew I loved her. I'm sure she did. I mean, grandmas are always so kind. She's sitting there. Oh, she's writing. I thought she was looking into like a fa family album but of course this is not their own house so just got back from the co-op what a day monica gave me an interesting idea for my ocean piece the water will stand out more if none of the people on the shore have any blue on their clothes i'm gonna work on that tomorrow i'll be back here at the house but just having new ideas and new friends makes working here so much more productive i'm so glad dan splurged on this i can't wait to head back on wednesday she seems to be very satisfied with the fact that Dan was on board with her with the whole painting thing because they, they I believe they invested the money that they got from the inheritance from that pipe guy into her her going to that I guess art school or something so yeah that's definitely working out for her very well we need to find two more Probably not in Tommy's room. It's kind of strange though that even though you're kind of this ghost or spirit or whatever, you can't really walk through walls, you can't fly either. You're, you're walking kind of like you're an invisible person or something. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> oh god. It's probably when she heard the news. By the phone? I don't know. Usually there are three clues. Perhaps it's in the kitchen? No. Wasn't here either. I guess that's it then. There's only two for her. Maybe in the office? No. Oh, we've we already been here. Alright, let's exit the memory. Oops. 
Time to read their thoughts. Yep. He needs to call and buy a ticket if he's coming to the funeral. Yeah, she really prioritizes the funeral. Of course, I mean, it's her grandmother. And then, what does he want? Obviously, do some serious work on that chapter first. He, his mind is still always, pretty much always on that book. And then Tommy. Where is he? Where's the little snot nose? In the living room, there he is, read thoughts. The magazine says, says there are gonna be tons of planes. These are the choices. Do some serious work on that chapter first for Dan, Linda. He needs to call and buy a ticket if he's coming to the funeral. Do you really have to buy a ticket for a funeral? I never knew. I, I've been to a funeral actually. It's been a long time. I think to my grandpa's was the last one, which was definitely many, many years ago. But I don't remember buying a ticket. But then again, I was very young. So I never knew it worked that way, but apparently it does. Tommy, the magazine says there are going to be tons of planes. I mean, we neglected Tommy in the last one as well. But this is so difficult. Especially from all the things that you've found. I feel like I haven't found a whole lot about what Tommy wants. There was obviously, for Linda it's pretty clear. The funeral, that's her just... Her main concern at this moment. And she's wondering whether he, he's... Dan is coming or not. I don't know whether she knows if the signing is on the exact same date. And Dan obviously, I mean in those couple of letters you read that the signing is so important for not only the book that he's currently working on, but also work for him in the future. Which is why I feel that I have to prioritize Dan in this chapter and then probably make up with Linda. And, and again, Tommy's gonna suffer for this. It's so, so hard to make these choices. I guess that's what we're gonna have to do. Unless we maybe can find some more. Um, it's over there. This wasn't it. This wasn't it either. Is this this chapter? Selecting the chapter will choose Dan's resolution. Linda and Tommy will be disappointed. It's so... But... I wanted to say that it's kind of selfish for me, but... I'm not really looking at it from Dan's perspective, am I? I'm looking at it from everyone's perspective and then... Choosing, I guess the best out of the three even though all three of them if you don't choose any of them they're all kind of bad because it's just so painful that one has to suffer suffer every single time but i don't know whether i'm not finding the clues very well for tommy or something but in the last one i also kind of missed that he, he or i forgot that he, he was wanted to go to this camp and i definitely remember reading something about the camp but not the fact that he he planned to go there or something, I don't know. But it's he, yeah, Tommy, I'm sorry. I feel like such an awful dad doing this, but I guess I... This is ultimately the best thing, I think. Now we need to... For the compromise, the call. From the desk of Harold Baxter. Again, this January 22nd, 1948. A final entry before I depart. The bank would no doubt prevent me from pur purchasing the house 
due to the inherent conflict of interest, but given its history of frequent ownership changes, I feel confident the mortgage department will, glad, will be glad to have the property off their hands. I believe I can set up a trust or perhaps a shell company and convince Mr. Lowry that we must part with the property before, for less than market value. I feel certain I can appeal to this conservative nature. I believe it will prove to be a shrewd investment as a rental property. And I think I now understand why people do not stay for extended periods. I find myself unable to describe the feeling precisely, but in my time here, I have found my mind drifting in strange ways, as if it was not always my own. But the natural beauty is undeniable. Perhaps shorter visits are a wiser use of the property, yes. Uh, property. Yes, I believe that it is a fine idea indeed. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. It feels like the kind of the ghost or whatever you're playing. Influence influences the people that live here that they're kind of their thoughts their brain exactly what you're doing right now with with this family but it it feels like it it just possesses this house and does it with every single family or person that lives here he he obviously has a strong a strong not really connection but just influence on them Flips and everything, poor Tommy. I mean, you can't ignore a death, right? That, that's something you just can't ignore. Phone call. Yeah, there's nothing else here. All right, the phone call. Yeah, we're gonna compromise Linda. Alright, whisper it in his ear. Myself, one day. Been so long. Need Dan. He's right next to you. Why you should I should I should Dan knew his books had drifted almost completely out of the public's eye and he couldn't turn down the chance to get his work back into the literary spotlight. He drove to Eugene on the 21st and was surprised to see a line out of the door of bracket books Paul had delivered. Dan wasn't completely happy with the chapter he read, but the crowd certainly seemed to like it. He left Eugene with a confidence boost that carried him for days. He knew he couldn't ignore Grandma Joe's passing completely, so though, so he flew into Denver the night before the funeral and ten attended the visitation. He was on the ground for less than 12 hours before having to fly back out, and Linda was hurt that he didn't go to the service as well, but knew he was trying to make the best of a difficult situation. Poor Tommy. When Dan told Tommy he couldn't, wouldn't be able to go to the show, Tommy had a crying fit and tried to tear up the magazine. It worried his parents he hadn't thrown a fit like that for almost a year. It was exactly the kind of thing he'd hoped to avoid by spending the summer in such a quiet, peaceful place. 